we need to move to this one here. We're only going to do two plates of the five. In class, we're going to ask that you get students to do the five. And if students are really motivated, there are some extension plates to be done. And looking at the front of this block, I would like you in my two-dimensional little portable mini television, draw the picture of that block right? as best you can. We're going to compare yours to my Promethean drawing, see how many wiggles you have. It's not drawn on there. Can you see it from back there? All right. Give her some credit there. That that looks like that. Perfect. And so we know what visually we have, what it looks like. We know that that's the front. What is important at this point right here is that you recognize, I'm going to use this marker right here, that this corner right here, that corner right there, is this crow's mouth right here. Cool? Here's the crow's mouth. And this corner right here, if this is the front, that corner starts right there. If I miss that, I've missed everything. And you've seen some students who have really good drawings in their engineering drawing, but their block goes up. All right? They still had the front view, but they didn't recognize that it's identifying that way. And so what I'm going to have you do, using construction lines, what do you know about construction lines? Light. Really light, Thanks. disappear at arm's length, all right, is I'm going to start from here, putting my pencil on there, and I'm going to draw a really light construction line all the way across. And a really light construction line all the way up. For the next five drawings, if students have any put that down on paper, they have no reason to come see you. I'm just trying to keep you from having a wall of kids lining up around your room. Same process every time. Why did I take this line all the way across? You guys are afraid to answer. I do. I had to. Because that's going to be the base for the side. My baseline for my front view and my right side. And as I go up, it's going to be my shared line for my right side and my top view. And if you really look at the bottom of the page, there's your answer. <laughs> so I'm really not tricking you, I'm just giving you a really good way. All right, now I have to know a little bit about measurement. Most students can measure on the inch. They just don't know necessarily where to start on the ruler. With all due respect, those little funny gaps they have now, all right? So when I put this down here, you only need a six inch ruler. Those foot long ones are really pretty easy, but they're really not as conducive. And I notice I have that little gap here. That's critical. But the front view told me which two dimensions? Length and height. How long is my block? Three inches. So starting on the construction line. This is only my starting point. That's my crow's mouth. That's a pretty big line. I measure out how far? Three inches. Three inches. And then I draw that line all the way up. Why do I draw that line all the way up? Because you have to. What dimension does the front view and the top view share? Length. Length. So I, anything I do in the front view, I have to transfer that information up. Remember when I put a hole in the block? I didn't see the hole, but it still impacted the rest of the object, didn't it? So from there to there is three inches. Coming back to my crow's mouth, how high is the block? One inch. Measure up one inch. 
measured up one inch from here, from the construction line, not the crow's mouth. You wouldn't want to measure up the crow's mouth if you're making a heart valve. Might be too big for your little vessels. And what do I do? How long, how far do I take that line? All the way across. Why? Share Share which dimension, Kim? Right. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So my block is one inch high on the front and it is on the right side. So d does my front view look like what Katie drew for me? And if it really is working well for me, I should be able to lay that block right on. Can do to the half inch. Right? Then it gets to be crazy after that. But the distance between views is in half an inch. I'm not making a sheet metal box. I'm not folding up a package for a bar of soap. I have to leave the space. Remember how we moved into a different quadrant? I have to provide for that space. We've conveniently located everything so that it'll fit on this drawing so the kids don't have to do all that. So the distance between views is a half an inch. The distance between views is in half an inch. What's the difference between views? Half an inch. Distance between views. Half an inch. 